Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Anhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will walk through the steps to create an SSH key pair for an Azure Linux VM in the Azure portal. We will also cover the steps on how to use an existing SSH key pair when creating a new Linux VM in Azure. If you are running Linux virtual machines on Microsoft Azure, using SSH keys is the most secure an efficient method for remote access management. SSH keys act as an electronic ID card. Instead of relying on standard passwords, SSH uses strong encryption to secure your servers against hackers and brute force attacks. With SSH key based login, you don't need to remember complex passwords or worry about phishing attacks. It's faster, more secure and highly recommended by Microsoft. This process also complies with enterprise class security standards, making it ideal for both personal and corporate users. In the first step, we need to log into the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. In the search bar at the top of the portal, type SSH. On the marketplace, select SSH keys. This will open the SSH key page. On the SSH key page, select Create. Select a subscription to manage your resources and cost. In Resource Group, select Create New to create a new resource group to store your keys. Type a name for your resource group and select OK. Select a region to store your keys. You can use the keys in any region. This option simply determines where they are stored. Enter a name for your key in the Key Pair Name field. I have given name Linux VM SSH key pair. In the SSH public key source, ensure the generate new key pair option is selected. An SSH key pair consists of two keys, a private key and a public key. Generally, you place the public key on the Azure VM or any server you want to access. The private key stays securely on your local machine and should never be shared. You can choose either RSA or ED25519 SSH format for this key pair. In this example, we will select RSA SSH format. Click Next to continue. Enter the tag name and its corresponding value. After entering the tag name in its value, select Review plus Create button. Wait for the validation to complete. Once the validation is successful, click Create to generate the SSH key pair. Once the key pair is created successfully, a pop-up window will appear with two options. Select the download private key and create resource option to download the SSH key as a .pem file. Once you have downloaded the PEM file, consider moving it to a location on your computer that's easy to access from your SSH client. Verify SSH key pair has been created successfully. You also have the option to upload a public SSH key to store in Azure. Let's go through the steps. On the SSH key page, select Create. Choose the resource group you want to use or create a new one to store the SSH key pair. For this example, we will use the newly created resource group named Linux Test RJ. Enter a meaningful name for your key in the key pair name field. In the SSH public key source, select Upload existing public key. Now go back to your local machine where you have stored the existing SSH key pair. Open the public key file, copy all the contents of the public key without any white space. For this example, we will generate a new SSH key pair on this Windows 10 machine. Let's right click on the Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Click on Yes. Type the command SSH-keygen-t ed25519. Here, ed25519 is SSH format for this key pair. Press Enter key. Now specify the file name in which to save the key. Let me type MSFT webcast. Press Enter key. We are not going to set up the passphrase. Press Enter. Press Enter again. The key pair has been generated successfully. Open File Explorer. In our example, SSH key pair are stored under System32 folder. Let's access it. Go to Windows and open System32. Under System32, we can see these are the key pair files. Let's right click on it and select Copy. Let's store under the Downloads folder. 
For the testing purpose, I'm storing these key pair files under the downloads folder. Now this is our public key file. Let's right click on it and select add it with notepad. Copy all the contents of the public key without any white space. Let's minimize notepad plus plus. Return to the Azure portal. Paste the full contents of the public key into upload key section. Now click the review plus create button. Wait for the validation to complete. Once the validation is successful, click create to upload the SSH keys. This will take a few seconds. In Azure portal, we can verify the key has been successfully uploaded. Now, when you create a new Linux VM, you don't have to generate a new SSH key pair. Instead, you can use an existing one stored in the Azure. Go to the portal homepage. Click on virtual machines. Click on create and then select virtual machine. Fill in the basic details such as Azure subscription, resource group and virtual machine name. Set the administrator account authentication type to SSH public key. Enter the username for the administrator account. For the SSH public key source, this time select the use existing key stored in Azure option. This will allow us to use our existing private key for the new Linux VM. From the drop down list, choose one of the stored SSH public keys in Azure to use for the VM. The username you set for the new VM doesn't affect the SSH key pair. I won't show you the remaining steps as you are already familiar with the process of creating an Azure Linux VM. Let me close this. Click OK. If you need your public key, you can easily copy it from the portal page for the key. Just list your keys, then select a key from the list. In the search bar at the top of the portal, type SSH keys. Under services, select SSH keys. You should open the SSH key page. Select a key from the list. The page for your key opens and you can click the copy to clipboard icon next to the key to copy it. In this video, we covered the steps to create an SSH key pair and how to upload an existing SSH key to Azure. We have also covered the steps on how to use an existing SSH key pair when creating a new Azure Linux VM. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.